The downspout drain really is the most important drain in the rainwater drainage system. It collects all that water from your roof, thousands and thousands of gallons, and it sends it out through an underground pipe to the street or a storm drain. But the real question is, why does PVC get so many roots? Can you see all these tree roots? And it's more common to find this type of a blockage in PVC than it is in corrugated. This PVC pipe was not cleanable. In other words, we could not send a cable down through the line. Sometimes we can. And I'm not saying that corrugated doesn't get roots because you can see, look at this. Look at the amount of tree roots that were in that corrugated pipe. Luckily on this job, we were able to clean that line and remove all the tree roots. And now that line is in perfect working order. Even when PVC is sealed properly, this can happen. And the biggest reason is that it really depends on what is growing around the pipe. Tree roots are very powerful. And when they wrap around a pipe, they can crush it, they can crack it, they can squish it, and it just takes a pinhole for that root system to begin to grow inside. Once a root system gets inside of PVC, it is very easy for it to grow. Because it is a smooth walled pipe, the water does lay in the line. Even if it has fall, now since the root system's in there, it begins to back up and it just gives the roots all that nourishment and they grow a long distance. Usually you'll find the problem at the downspout or at the sidewalk. That's usually the spot, not out in the middle of the yard. There's usually not any problems there. And because the downspout drain is so important that if that system backs up, that water will overflow at the downspout and end up in your basement, crawl space, or in your slab home along the, the wall. So whether you're using PVC or corrugated, the real answer is clean the drain. Maintain your system. When that overflows, you have major problems on your foundation, and it is not that hard to clean. You can do it yourself by renting a machine or calling a company, but maintain that system. So we dug down to the footers and cleaned them off. Out here in the front, <clears throat> we're putting the liquid rubber on. Got some gravel down there. Already sealed portion of that. Now we're just bringing up a little bit higher onto the wall so that it doesn't go through the uh, mortar of the brick. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.